Well, if it's been a while since you had time to work in the yard, our weekend gardener is here to help. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the weekend gardener. So, fall and much of the winter so far, we've been talking about your vegetable garden, growing a nice quantity of vegetables in the backyard. Now it's time to complement those vegetables with a little dessert. And so there are many things uh, like these uh, pears right here, all kinds of pears, just uh, wonderful selections. They do very well and last for many, many, many years. So uh, pears might be a very good selection for you. They're well adapted to the area. Let me show you over here. We've got a lot of uh, plums and peaches. Here's Santa Rosa, one of the classics right here. And Methley, another one, very, very good one. These are good choices for the area. And so, um, here is a, another pear right here. This is an Asian pear. These are really, really expensive in the grocery store and easy to grow at home. So uh, the uh, Asian pear is a really nice uh, choice for you. I like them a whole lot. I've got some at home. They do very well for me. Here's another, the Shinko. And then um, we do have some figs, another choice for right now. We've got them in the greenhouse at this point. But um, look at these. They're just uh, beautiful. Beautiful plants, easy to grow. Look for the wood to be healthy. Look for cracks, make sure they're not there. Make sure the tips are not damaged. If they are, you might have to cut them off just a little bit. This is a uh, good looking wood. When it's red like this, doesn't mean the other's bad, but this is a lot of growth that is gonna be productive. Maybe the first year we're not so uh, worried about production. We're worried about getting the darn thing established. So uh, fruit trees are um, extremely nice. Here's another one right here. These guys um, are peaches. Look at these guys. Just uh, beautiful little plants. There's a bunch of uh, types of fruits, whether it's peaches or if you have a deep soil, then what you would uh, look for is one of the pecans. The pecans will do very well, but the the root ball is about that deep, so you got to be r really ready to dig. This thing is going to be a great big one, and then you spread the roots out and you get it established, and uh, they grow well about that big before too long, and are very very productive. And the price of pecans these days really expensive. So here you go, uh, complementing that vegetable garden that we worked on all season long with a few of the fruit trees that are well adapted to the area or berries or figs, any of these guys, will really m make the beginning of that sustainable garden that you want in your backyard. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next week.